Hi everyone. So I took a few weeks off for the holidays, but I'm back with our regular videos. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, how to get great answers when you're on a G-trip. So basically how to ask better G-trip questions. When I say G-trip, I'm talking about um, you know the work that you do in the field, in country, uh, when you're preparing for a proposal. You might call it a capture trip, um, research, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to call it a G-trip right now. So when you are on a G-trip and you're formulating your questions, which you should always do before you get your G-trip started, um, you know, you, we usually write out our questions in the way that we want the answer to come. So we might write out something like, what, it, what are the three biggest challenges in this area? And then, you know, human nature is when you're in the meeting, you might just repeat those exact questions because those are the ones that you formulated. What you want to do is get um, someone in storytelling mode. So um, <clears throat> instead of asking uh, someone explicitly like what, what is the biggest challenge, say in the economy in Cuba, um, you would say like what is your greatest pain point that you've experienced because of the economic challenges in Cuba? And then you want to follow up and say, tell me about the last time you experienced it or that you saw someone else experiencing that pain point. And what you'll see is it gets someone in storytelling mode. And most people are really comfortable in storytelling mode. Um, so even me right now, like I, what I'm instinctually drawn to do is to tell you about how I was on a G trip once um, and we kept on asking these questions over and over. We kept on asking the more point blank, blank question, like tell me about the three greatest challenges in this area. Or what are what are the three recommendations you would make to the ministry to you know improve the situation? And people would often come back to us and say, "Well, um, it really depends," or um, you know, it's hard to answer that question because there's so many factors. And re realistically, um, what was what was happening is people felt a little bit uncomfortable, like we were putting them maybe on the spot to show expertise or to be a hundred percent certain or. Um, uh, be sure that the answer that they're presenting is sort of the factual truth. And in, in reality, we weren't looking for the factual truth. We wanted to know their opinion and their own experience. Um, so when you get people in storytelling mode, you're not asking them to be an expert. Um, you're asking them to share their own experience. And there's nothing more valid than what someone has personally experienced. It can't be disputed. It can't be fact-checked. It's what they have personally experienced or personally witnessed. Their answer is valid. And so try it out. Let me know what you think. I think you'll see that a lot of people really open up when you get them in that storytelling mode. Um, and I would like to hear your experience. Um, so I'd like to get you in storytelling mode to tell me about how it works when you tried out these methods. Um, if you find this video useful, share it with your colleagues. Um, you can, they can subscribe by clicking on the link in my email signature if we've been in contact, or you can just email me directly at uh, suzanne at joinkeylime.com and uh, happy G-tripping. Bye.